Today on the Old Wolf Workshop Studio, viceless work holding. I'm Derek Olson with the Old Wolf Workshop Studio. Today we're going to be talking about working on these Nicholson benches, which are a bit of an anomaly with the way I built them because they don't use a vise to hold the boards while you're doing your woodworking. Um, these are the exact vices that we're going to be using when we hold the class at Tunnel Mill, just south of Rochester, May uh, 2nd through the 5th, 2019. Um, but these uh, work holding techniques can go across the board for all different kinds of projects. So let me show you how it works. So the heart of this workbench is really these pieces of iron called holdfasts. What they do is they actually grip down the wood and they, they're your vise, but they're able to be moved all throughout because they work in these little three quarter inch holes that are drilled in various places, strategic places around the bench. They work by placing them in the hole smack it with the mallet and it grips the piece of wood down to the bench. Cants in the hole, gets a good grip, holds down the bench. To release them, you smack them in the back and they pop loose. It really is that easy. So this block of wood here that's inset through the bench and goes about a foot down on the bench, I have my other hand on the bottom of it, about even with the bottom of the apron of the bench, uh, is called the plane stop. And it's the other essential piece to most of the work holding for this bench. What it does is it's just a block of wood that moves up and down and is a stop to rest and push boards against and allows you to get that friction grip. Now, this bench that you're going to see me use doesn't have an actual toothed planing stop inserted in them, although they will by the time they get to the tunnel mill. This is the stop off my other bench, and it has one of those tooth stops on it, so you can see what it kind of looks like. All it does is it's going to sit in the bench like this. You can raise and lower it so these teeth grip the edge of the wood. And I'm going to show you how it works here. So in so. essence, when you're wood, hand tool woodworking on the bench, you want to be able to hold your stock in uh, to work the face of the board, the edge of the board, and the end grain of the board in order to get all your joinery and uh, planing and dimensioning done. You could do a lot of that on this bench, right? especially using just the plain stop here. Plain stop's just something to push straight up against. So I can just take and make plain work right into the stop. What you want to be careful if you're going to be just doing this is that you don't go off of the plain stop. You want your momentum to hit into the plain stop if you're going off to one side. Well, it starts to cant and it starts to move away. And eventually, sometimes even on shorter pieces if you're not paying attention, it'll fly right off the bench on you. But if you're being careful, it shouldn't happen. For more odd shaped boards maybe, or uh, boards that you're going to work, especially when you're starting to work uh, the board from rough to smooth, you, you do a trick called traversing where you're actually playing across the end of the board and across the edge to, to get the board flat. And doing that can be a lot more tricky on this bench, but not, I say tricky, but not really. <coughs> Pardon me. Because you have this appliance called a doe's foot. A doe's foot has this notch in it that catches this upper corner of the board and holds it in place. And the doe's foot doesn't just sit there like this, it also uses the magic of the hold fast. So you set the doe's foot in place like this. Set the hold fast, and then one thing I do is I kind of give the dose foot a little tap here. And what that does is drive on the pivot at the hold fast, drive the board into the planing stop, and helps hold the whole thing well in place. You 
can you have a couple of options here. The first one is, is you can work it up against the plane the you know, plane stop. Let me raise this plane stop a little bit. Work it up against the edge of the plane stop and hold the other end upright. Now if you're good and everything's square already, even just that is enough to work. If you're careful and if your technique's really good. You can help yourself with a hand clamp. Hold fast just keeps the hand clamp on the bench, then everything's held in place. But there's one better way on these benches a lot is a device called a crochet, which is a large formed hook on the end that has a gap on the inside. And that gap allows you to kind of catch a board in that hook, and it holds it in place so you can work on the edge, and then you uh, catch the other end with a hold fast, or even just hold it with a peg in the bench. I've never liked that because I don't like how the crochet sits uh, because it's something that you can really bang yourself into and hurt yourself as you're moving around the bench and I'm not necessarily the most graceful guy. So one of the things that I came up with was a little bit of a movable crochet um, that I can attach to the top of the bench that can actually get my work done. So let's go to zoom in and we're going to show you how I use this weird little crotch. First things I do when I'm using this appliance is I kind of decide where I want the height of my board to be and we have all these variety of holes drilled in the front. I kind of help set myself up by catching myself with, by putting a little three-quarter inch dowel in one of the holes. Now, I'm balanced a little bit, and I can see where this is going to catch. And you can see how this is uh, adjustable to a variety of widths of board. So I can catch myself in there, and then I catch it with a... hold fast and now the crochet between being held against the plane stop and the hold fast holding it here is now held in place. Like I do since I have it kind of loosely held in here as I set another hold fast even here and because this is a board that I've probably already planed the face of I'm going to protect the front of that from the hold fast with a piece of wood set it against the crochet, tap that in place. Now, if I don't want the end of this wiggling, and it's not going to wiggle much, I'll just give this a little bit of a tap and tighten that in place. And now, that board's held well in place. I do want to push you towards making yourself one of these Moxon style vices. They're a great little double twin screw vice. They're not necessarily having a vice on your bench because this is something you can apply to the bench and take off again. And it really doesn't count. I move this to one bench to another around the shop if I need it. Um, it attaches and holds in place with a couple of hole fasts on a little lip in the back. And it also raises my work up so I'm not bent over as much as I'm cutting dovetails and things like that. It is a great piece, but we're not going to have these on these benches in Tunnel Mill in May. And so we're not going to really show how to work with these, ba these babies now. In place of our Moxon vise, any, tw any uh, twisting screws or anything like that to help hold it in place, we're going to go back to the wonderful little uh, doe's foot that we have here. Now these are designed just to be the right length where I can put the hold fast through one of these holes. I can select where I want it to go on the bench. And the hold fast from the other side will actually catch and hold from there. Now, it's a little bit of a 
think about doing two things in once operation, which can be tough sometimes, but I put the board in place, I kind of hold it in place with one hand while I set this hold fast with the other. Now this hold fast will spring into place. Now this board is held perfectly fine. Well, if I get it in square. And I can start cutting some dovetails. That's it for a rough and quick introduction to this uh, style of workbench and this style of work holding without using a vise. Often a vise is the most expensive part of a bench build and this can get you in the door uh, quick and relatively economically and, and get you going, and get you up and running. Vices are great, they're nice. I don't have one even on my big main bench that I use every day for work. Uh, so they aren't necessary for getting anything done. They help, but they aren't necessary. Um, this should get you on your feet for the class that I'm teaching in May in Tunnel it's Mill, which is a great, great dual craft class in May in Tunnel Mill. Uh, I'm going to be teaching building a Dutch tool chest, and Tom Latney is going to be teaching the students to forge uh, the hinges for the Dutch tool chest. So you can come, you can learn some blacksmithing, you can learn some woodworking, um, and hopefully we'll get to do the class again and again and again, both at Tunnel Mill and maybe even at other venues. Um, at any rate, I want to thank you for watching the video. Again, my name is Derek Olson. This is the Old Wolf Workshop Studio. And stop back again. Thank you.